is this thing on? Is this thing recording? I am TV, TVL Designs, also known as I am Tamika Hicks on all social media platforms. And today I wanted to talk about navigating the job market, specifically talking about the effects of being overqualified. Now, this has been a thing, and I guess Part of me, when I started writing um, certain resumes and things of that nature, I'm like, okay, my resume good enough for me to get a call, kick the door in, get my foot in the door, but you kept slamming the door in my face. So I'm like, okay, well, what is really, really going on? And all I could do was go back to all the times that I had been denied. However, I was overqualified. So being okay with that space was very important to me. And generally, this is not the type of content I create. However, I just feel like I need to really get into this space because a lot of people are really struggling with navigating this market. And honestly, I'm okay with it because I know for a fact I know my place and being overqualified means that I'm right where I need to be as an entrepreneur and different leadership roles that I hold in my own personal life. Okay, so we're going to get into the content. Okay, so we're going to dive into this topic that's becoming increasingly re relevant in today's market. Um, being overqualified for a job with the world of, you know, just con of it constantly evolving, it's critical to understand how being overqualified can Im impact your career. Like um, just basically the prospects, overall job satis satisfaction, you know, um, so whether you're a recent graduate, a seasoned professional, a person that someone is curious about just the dynamics of the job market, stay right here. So we're going to break down and dive into what does overqualify actually mean? Being overqualified refers to having more qualifications, skills and experience than what is required for a particular job. While I mean, while it might seem like a positive thing to have a surplus of skills, it can lead to a variety of challenges. So let's fall back for a moment. I'm going to take myself, for instance, I've worked in so many different areas. I'm a great problem solver. I'm a great organizer. After having a conversation with certain people, they're more so looking like when they, they throw those questions out at you. Honestly, a lot of those questions, they really don't want you to be able to answer, in my opinion, because if you are able to exhibit more than enough. As far as the skills and abil ability to handle this situation, nine times out of ten you will be a person that they will hire for about a year or so. You get bored. You can, you know, you basically will outgrow your role way faster than what they could really um, basically accommodate. They can't afford you. Girl, your price, I say your price tag too high. Okay, so let's get into some of the effects of being overqualified. One of them is limited job satisfaction. Just like I was giving an example, one of the main effects of being overqualified is the potential for decreased job satisfaction. You might find yourself feeling unchallenged and bored due to the skills that um, don't utilize your full set, skill set. So if you have the ability to think outside the box and you're basically in the box in that position is it's just not gonna work this lack of engagement can ultimately impact your motivation 
and your enthusiasm for your job. So you're just going to be like, after this job after a while. And that's just me being honest. And I've been in that place. Also, <laughs> you become a perceived flight risk. What we mean by that is employers might view overqualified individuals as a potential flight risk. They might worry about, you know, how quickly they will become dissatisfied and leave for a more challenging role um, as an opportunity, you know, come free. So you're like, okay, I hired them. And a month or two, they get bored and they go ahead and put this on the resume and they out. You know, what are we going to do? The This perception could affect your chances of landing the job in the first place. So, yeah. Also, next, the salary and advancement concerns. With you being overqualified, um, employees might believe that you'll uh, demand a higher salary than what's budgeted for your role. So basically, they can't. I say, your girl, your price too high. And this can make the negotiations tricky and potentially lead to an um, impasse. Like, you know, it's, it's just not going to work. Moreover, being qualified might mean that there's limited room for growth and advancement within the position, making it difficult to climb the career ladder. Skill mismatch is another issue as well, because being overqualified can sometimes result in a skill mismatch. So you might find yourself doing tasks that are below your actual capabilities. Um, this not only wastes your talents, but also prevents you from continu continuing to develop the skills that you essentially have for your career progression. So you don't want to you know, stunt your growth, you know, that's that defeats the whole purpose of going to work somewhere because you want to feel like you're contributing, that you can continue to contribute. But at the same time, you're like, girl, what we doing here? What we doing? All right. So um, now we're going to get into some strategies that can help to mitigate the effects of this. Make sure I ain't overlooked nothing. Okay. So one, we're gonna start, we're gonna we're gonna review this tailored resumes and cover letters. When applying for jobs, focus on tailoring your resume and cover letter to emphasize the skills and experience that are directly relevant to the position. Highlight achievements that match the job description rather than oversharing qualifications that might not be necessary. So don't put don't tell all your business, okay? Because you're trying to get in the door, right? Okay, let's move on. So address concerns head on. During the interviews, proactively address concerns about being overqualified. Explain why you're gen generally interested in a role and how you see it you know, fitting for your career tra trajectory and how to plan to contribute effectively. So this is another thing that I remember going through. And honestly, it was something, you know, being honest, transparent, I went through maybe last week. And it dropped down in my spirit that, okay, this ain't gonna work. I just wasted my time talking to somebody Knowing good and hell well, they ain't fit to call me back. I tell you that back. I was able to use the skills that I had to write a stellar resume. However, when I started having a conversation with the people, basically the HR person was talking. He wanted to do a five in five minute uh, conversation to ask me a couple questions, which was, which was a red flag in my head. Because generally the person that normally calls you back is the person that's doing the, you know, it, I don't remember it being that way. But anyway, I obliged and I went through it. And that's why I'm here to shed a little bit of light on it. And that's something that I'm not wasting my time doing anymore. I know who I am. Ben knew who I was. I just wanted to dip in and see if it was still the same way. Okay. <laughs> 
So just go ahead and have that conversation. You know what I mean? Like to me, I don't, I don't get um, discouraged about it. I just accept it for what it is because it's happened to me so many years. And I'm like, girl, move around. And that's, I've been moving around. So that's kind of what happened. And I might share a little bit another time about what I had to do to move around after leaving corporate. Okay. So after talking about addressing it head on, address the concerns now. All right. Um, embrace upskilling. So in, by embracing upskilling, use any down, downtime in the role to focus on upskilling or developing new skills. This not only keeps you engaged, but also makes you a more well-rounded professional, potentially um, open, you know, open the doors for new opportunities in the long run. So um, that's another way. So if, if you, you know, if if that is a space for you to be able to um, accept. Because a lot of people can't take criticism. Um, as long as it's constructive, I'm cool. Because my thing is, you're not going to tear me down, but you can give me a solution and tell, you know, you always emphasize on the positive and then you say, oh, but this is, this is that. And then you can come up with a good resolution. But anyway, I ain't going to hold y'all. I'm getting ready to wrap this thing on up. So basically in this job market, um, that continues to evolve. Um, being overqualified for position repre- presents bad challenges, but it also opens up opportunities. So um, it's just important understanding the potential effects and um, finding a way to implement smart strategies to help help you with that. And you can navigate the situation successfully by, you know, finding your way through that. Um, and also remember that every chance, every experience is a chance to learn how to grow regardless of the job title. So, again, thank you for tuning in. This is TVL Designs, also known as I am Tamika Hicks on all social media platforms. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more insightful content. Until the next time, stay informed and stay empowered.